Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about the Kepler's third law, which is known as law of periods. See, for that, the sun, and we know that all the planets revolve around the sun in elliptical orbit. So this is one orbit, this is another orbit, and this is one more orbit. So. <coughs> it is a sun so if you consider the distance between the sun and the planet consider one planet is at a distance of r1 and one more planet another planet is at a distance of r2 and another planet is at a distance of r3 see here if you observe clearly the planet which is moving in this elliptical orbit which is at a distance r1 will take less time to make one complete rotation around the sun that means the time period for the planet also will be very less which is t1 and as it is uh, second planet as it is having a distance of r2 as it is so long than r1 so the time period taken by the planet to complete one round will be more so let it be t2 and if you consider the another planet which is at a distance of r3 the time period and the distance is also more from the sun and the time period will be also more accordingly which is t3 so kepler's third law st uh, states that the square of the time period of revolution of the planets around the sun is proportional to the cube of the distance or mean distance of the planet from the sun so that's why kepler's third law is given as t square that means time period square is directly proportional to the distance from the sun to the planet cube is that means cube of the distance between the sun and the planet or we call it as the radius depends upon the radius that means time period square is directly proportional to the radius cube and if you consider the two planets here the time period of first planet t1 upon t2 is equal to radius distance of the planet r1 upon r2 or simply time period square so t square t square and distance cube now so t1 square by t2 square equal to r1 cube by r2 cube so now let us see how this t square is directly proportional to r cube has been uh, derived mathematically let us see that see we know that a planet will revolve around the sun in an elliptical orbit and while moving in this elliptical orbit it exerts due to uh, the sun's uh, gravitational force the planet is able to revolve so the gravitational force is nothing but f equal to g m m by r square and centripetal force will act on the planet radially inward so a centripetal force equal to m v square by r so by these two we will get m v square by r equal to capital g capital m small m by r square so small m and small m will get cancelled r and r will get cancelled so we will have v square equal to gm by r and we know one more thing speed speed orbital speed of a planet v equal to orbital speed of planet orbital speed of a planet v equal to we know that as it is revolving around the orbit will have uh, speed as we are saying this is a speed 
डिस्टेंस बाय टाइम दैट मींस टू बाय आर बाय टाइम टी डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम सो इफ यू कंसीडर दिस एस वी स्क्वायर विल हैव टू बाय आर बाय टी होल स्क्वायर सो इफ यू टेक दिस एस टू बाय आर बाय टी होल स्क्वायर एंड विल गेट जी एम बाय आर सो दिस स्क्वायर मींस विल गेट फोर पाइ स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर बाय टी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जी एम बाय आर सो इफ यू रिमॉडलेट दिस विथ ब्रिंगिंग दिस आर हियर देन ओके सो वी गॉट हियर टू पाइ आर बाय टी होल स्क्वायर एस फोर पाइ स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर बाय टी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जी एम सो इफ यू ब्रिंग दिस जी एम हियर and if you bring the r here we will get 4 pi square r cube upon 4 pi square r cube by bring gm this side is equal to t square and if you observe here 4 pi square by gm 4 pi square by gm is constant so as it is constant If you take out the constant, we can write this as t square is directly proportional to r cube. So as it is the Kepler's third law, the square of time period of the planet which is revolving around the sun is directly proportional to the distance of the planet and the sun. Uh, the distance cube that will be equal uh, that will be directly proportional to the a uh, square of the time period will be directly proportional to the cube of the distance between the sun and the planet so this is our kepler's third law which is also called as law of periods